Good afternoon. Yesterday was a day of particular significance for the tribunal with the start of its final trial, that of Goran Hadžić, former president of the self-proclaimed Republic of Serbian Krajina. Hadžić was the last remaining fugitive of the total of 161 persons indicted by the tribunal to be arrested last year and the final accused to be awaiting the start of his trial. The prosecution has been granted a total of 175 hours for its case, during which it has stated it would call about 85 witnesses. The trial chamber is currently hearing the testimony of the first prosecution witness, Zlatko Antunovic. Resuming from yesterday, Antunovic is from the area of Erdut and Dal in Croatia and he's testifying about his detention there. Radovan Karadžić's defense case began yesterday with the testimony of the first defense witness, Andrei Demurenko, a retired colonel of the Russian army, who is testifying about the shelling incident at Markla Market in Sarajevo in 1995. Demurenko served as chief of staff of UMPROFOR for the Sarajevo sector and participated in the investigation of the shelling incident. The next defense witness is expected to be Paul Conway, a retired Irish Army officer who served as a United Nations military observer in the former Yugoslavia uh, until July 96. His testimony also relates to the shelling of the Markele market. And in the case of Zdravko Talimir, the chamber has partially granted the prosecutor's request for additional time to file a public redacted version of his final trial brief. The prosecution now has until 31st of October this year to do so. Once this has been filed, it will be made available on our website where the defense final trial brief is already available. And in the case of Jadranko Perlic and others, Slobodan Praljak has been granted additional time until the 22nd of January next year to request a review of the registrar's decision in which he found him to be able to remunerate counsel in full and to bear the entirety of the cost of his defense. This decision was uh, rendered originally in August this year. And finally, next week, the tribunal will be closed on Wednesday for the United Nations Day and on Friday for Eid al-Adha. There will be no statement from the prosecutor today. Any questions? No questions. Thank you very much.